And then the second message, uh, which I'm going to elaborate in the near future, is that uh, according to the spirit of God, COVID-19 does not mean that the world is coming to an end. COVID-19 is, is a wake-up call which the Almighty God has allowed us uh, in order for, for us as Christians to revisit the kind of message that we preach and revisit our priorities as Christians. Well, many Christians that invested their life heavily in the affairs of this world, more than people who are actually unsaved. So God is causing us to use this time that we have been afforded by COVID-19 to actually reflect on where our hearts are. Where, because the Bible says your heart will be where your treasure is. So the Spirit of God is using this, uh, this pandemic uh, as an opportunity for us to re-examine our motives. It doesn't necessarily mean that immediately after COVID-19 it will be the end of the world. Because there are still certain uh, events and pro processes that need to take place before the end of the world arrives. Like the mark of the beast, that's number one. Number two, the great tribulation. Number three, the message of the three angels according to Revelation chapter 14 from verse 6 to verse 13 has not yet been proclaimed. So until the message of the three angels has been proclaimed, uh, starting with the proclamation of the everlasting gospel up to the, the almighty God punishing those who will take upon themselves the mark of the beast, uh, the end is not yet. According to what the Holy Spirit was telling me, you are saying these are the intensification of sorrows uh, to show us that we are in the last lap of these last days. So as Christians, we must watch and pray. We must always be vigilant, uh, says the Spirit of the Almighty God. So wherever you are, my brother, my sister, uh, watch and pray. Uh, watch and pray. Watch and pray.